These days Kris Jenner's doing pretty well for herself, managing the lucrative careers of her millionaire children. She's entitled to a percentage of all the deals for makeup, clothing lines, appearances, and everything else that she negotiates for Kylie and Kendall Jenner, Kardashian sisters Kim, Courtney, and Chloe, and their brother, Rob. According to Forbes, Kylie alone is on track to be the youngest so-called self-made billionaire ever, thanks to her Kylie Cosmetics empire. The self-made label is being criticized, but there's no debate about whether Kylie and all the Kardashians and Jenners are big business with serious wealth. So it's tough to imagine a world in which the keeping up with the Kardashians matriarch, whose net worth is now estimated to be $60 million, couldn't take out her wallet and buy whatever, whether a personal plane or something even more extravagant let alone a meager item from the grocery store. But that's really what happened after Chris Ugly split from the late Robert Kardashian, she reveals in an interview on the Fox News show Objectified, airing Sunday. Chris and Robert, who married in 1978, divorced in 1991, following her affair with a professional soccer player. At some point, Robert, feeling less than charitable from the sting of Chris infidelity, cut off her credit cards. I didn't have anything. Chris said. I went to the market one day and my credit card didn't work. I had a market credit card and I'm like, I can't even buy a tomato. Chris also expressed regrets about her 1989 affair. I married Robert when I was 22 years old, and I got pregnant on my honeymoon. I had the happiest life you could have dreamt about, Chris told the show's host, TMZ's Harvey Levin. But when you're in something, sometimes people think the grass is always greener. And that was, like, what I think I went through at some point. She has said in the past that she's sorry for hurting her family by ending her marriage. The one regret, if I had to do it over, would be divorcing Robert Kardashian, Chris told the Daily Mail's New You magazine in 2013. But then there wouldn't have been Kendall and Kylie, so that's the way I look at that. I don't have a lot of regrets. Robert Kardashian died of esophageal cancer, at age 59. In 2003. Chris went on to marry the former Olympian now known as Caitlyn Jenner in 1991 and to successfully pitch the first of her family's cadre of hit reality shows, which debuted in 2007. Want more celebrity, entertainment, and lifestyle news? Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Instagram.